All right, so it's morning time. I'm just coming in from the field here. I'm gonna go check in, see what Ashley's got going on this morning. Hey, Ashley. Hey. So. See you the camera. Yeah, let's tell them what we're starting our morning with here, huh? Yeah, so I'm making our lemon water, which is what we have first thing every morning. We'll get up, uh, do our mouthwash, brush our teeth. We want to get all the bacteria out of your mouth first before you drink anything. And then you want to drink your lemon water because your liver has been doing a lot of hard work when you're sleeping. It's been collecting toxins and pathogens and just all the the crud that we come encounter with throughout that day before. So when you wake up in the morning your liver is kind of like loaded with all these toxins and you want to flush it out. Otherwise it's going to just go back into your system. So lemon water or lime water first thing in the morning at least 16 ounces. We like to do 32 ounces. will help flush that and it also just helps hydrate you first thing in the morning too. So if you haven't checked out our video on lemon water, go check it out. It's all about lemons and water and why it's important to have this first thing in the morning. But I'm going to let Ashley get back to making our lemon water and we're going to check in with her in a little bit when she's got that celery juice ready. So what's next on the menu here this morning? So next up is the celery juice. We get this down, drink it, wait 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll drink 32 ounces of celery juice. So I think I heard Ashley yell that the celery juice was ready. So I'm going in right now to get my... Oh, there she is. It's ready. So I'm going to go get my celery juice, and we'll talk with her a little bit about the celery juice. I'm here. Okay, here's your celery juice. All right. So let's tell everybody why we drink celery juice. Yes, so we drink celery juice because what it does is it knocks down viruses, bacteria, pathogens in your body and helps flush them out. It also rebuilds your hydrochloric acid, so giving you good gut health. And really the list just goes on and on for all the health benefits of celery juice. I mean, it even contains a different type of vitamin C that you don't get from, let's say, your orange juice. Um, it really is just a miracle drink that everyone should be bringing into their lives every single day and you should check out the celery juice book because it's really going to give you all those details about celery juice and right now you can tell it's early in the morning so we have our celery juice first thing in the morning we do it on an empty stomach and then how much celery juice do we drink Ashley? so we do 32 ounces you want to do at least 16 ounces every morning, empty stomach like Ben said. We wait, you know, 20 to 30 minutes after our lemon water. If it's too harsh or you're too sensitive to it at first, you can start with small doses. So maybe you bring it down to 4 ounces and then you eventually work your way up to that 16 ounces. But that 16 ounces is the magic number because it has a lot of obstacles to get through in your body. Yeah, and we we don't blend it, we juice it, and what we use to juice it is an omega juicer. Yes, yeah, we have our omega juicer. Unfortunately, it broke down a few months ago, so we've been using a backup centrifugal juicer that we have. Yeah, and you can really use any juicer. It doesn't have to be the omega juicer. That's just what we use. 
Um, you can use a cinder frickle juicer. You, you know, we've done a video with a hand juicer. You could get a hand juicer. I mean, you could really use any any juicer you want. The most important thing is getting the juice in your body so you can really start to feel the benefits and start healing from it. Yes. So once we get our celery juice down, what are we going to have next? So next is... Whoa! The melon! <laughs> <laughs> so, we drink our celery juice, wait 20-30 minutes, and then we have our melon. So, melon, the reason why we do this first thing as our first food is because melon, it is a pre-digested food. So what that means is your body doesn't have to work very hard to digest it because it's already pretty much broken down for it. So you eat your melon and it pretty much goes straight through your body. And you want to eat it first because if, you're, if you eat something else before it, that other food is still breaking down in your system and then the melon's going to sit on top of it and it will rot. So you want the melon to be on basically an empty stomach. That way your body can just absorb it it's not going to rot and it'll just go through your system and then you can eat your other foods afterwards. So melon is the first thing we're actually eating today. The way you got to think of it is you go to bed at night, your liver is, is still working but it's not having to work as hard because you're not throwing any fats, any uh, foods to avoid, uh, any environmental toxins at it. You're asleep. And then when you get up in the morning, it's important to not throw more fats at it or uh, foods that we should be avoiding. It's important to feed it, nourish it, heal it, and allow it to continue to do good for you. Right? Mm-hmm. So we're going to enjoy this <laughs> melon, this huge melon. And we're going to uh, check back with everybody in a little bit. Alright, so we just finished all of our melon and we just took our tinctures. So that was the, the next thing on the list is after you eat your melon or your glucose, then you take your tinctures because your tinctures don't work without glucose. So you need the glucose as kind of like your tag along with your supplements to deliver those supplements to the liver and all the other essential organs. Yes, and if you want to know more info about that, be sure to check out our video called Sups with a Side of Fruit. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've had our supplements, we're moving on to the next course. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's pouring that in right now. What, what do we got going on next? So now I'm doing our heavy metal detox smoothie modified. Um, we're not able to use our big blender out here. So while we're off gridding it, we are doing our modified version of the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie. And we like to do that as our breakfast, but this modified version isn't as filling. So I'm going to tell you what we do do. So what I take is there's the powders that go in the smoothie there's the spirulina and the barley grass juice powder those are needed you need one teaspoon of each of those so I put that in there and then since we don't get the frozen wild blueberries I get the um, wild blueberry powder and in order to get two cups worth of that, which is what goes in the smoothie, you're going to do four teaspoons, will be the equivalent to that. 
So we take those three powders and then we mix them up in a glass with either water or coconut water. The coconut water tastes better, but you can do either one. So we'll consume that to get those three ingredients. And the other two key ingredients are cilantro and dulse. So to get those in, what we'll do is we'll eat like an orange or something citrus, like orange or grapefruit with some dulse, which is really tasty. Um, so I'll incorporate a fruit bowl for us to eat with orange and then we'll eat that orange with some dulse. And then the cilantro, we try to incorporate either into our lunch salad or put it on top of our dinner. Um, and then to make sure that we're full, we'll also eat some bananas, which is normally in the smoothie, and then also fill up on fruit. Now, it looks like you're making us some teas, huh? Yes, so I am starting to prep the rest of our stuff for the day, or at least for the morning, and I am prepping our teas. We'll have a tea every day. Right now, we are doing Anthony's anti-pesticide fungicide tea. And he has a you know various different teas that help remove different things. So for one month we're doing the anti-pesticide tea because um, it's best to do it for a chunk of time. That way it can really do its job. So I've got all the herbs in here. Still need to put the ginger in there because that's part of the, part of the blend. Um, and then I've got the water heating up right now. And then the teas, so you'll notice that our teas are two different colors. And I had said that I made us the anti-pesticide tea, which is true, and that's in here. But then I also um, added some different herbs in each of ours, um, kind of like the herbs of our choice. So Anthony says that you can um, throw in other tea or other herbs into your tea, and it's okay for it to all be together. So in his Cleanse to Heal book, he lists all these different symptoms and conditions and then under each symptom he'll list some teas that can help. Um, so in Ben's for instance I put some hibiscus um, which is very helpful for the liver so that was Ben's kind of choice um, to add to his tea today and then in mine I added raspberry leaf um, and a little rose hip. So then that's why it makes the teas a little bit different color. Okay, so now I'm prepping um, our second lemon water of the day. We had our lemon water first thing in the morning and then I'll prep us a nice big glass for the day. Um, I'll usually do a full lemon and then I'll put some honey so it's like a honey lemon lemonade type drink. Sometimes I might put some strawberries in there to add a little strawberry lemonade flavor. Today I think I'm going to add some lime with that lemon and give it a little lemon lime taste. The amount of honey you want to put in is up to you. I usually do like a nice big droplet of it. It's however sweet you want it. Yes. So, kind of get it in there. I'm excited for blackberry season to start because when blackberries come in, we can have the blackberry version of the strawberry lemonade. Okay. <laughs> okay. So then that's all in there and then I'm going to fill it up with some water. I like to let it sit out in the sun, let it kind of get the healing powers of the sun, and then also melt the honey up. And then the fruit bowl is kind of just whatever I've picked up. So today it's going to be cherries, we've got some red grapes, um, some regular blueberries, and then a few uh, wild uh, berries that we've picked from the property here. So we'll eat all that, and then... Um, as you can see, there's a lot of fruit out here, so we keep filling up on fruit in the morning to get in that glucose, and we keep out the fats. So we keep eating as much as we want, so we'll eat a lot of bananas because those are really filling, and then we'll munch on some apples, 
Um, sometimes we'll even bring in some dried fruit, like dried apricots, dried figs, just as much fruit as we can before we introduce any fats into our system because once you introduce those fats, then the detox stops. Like I said, when you're sleeping, your liver is doing a uh, cleanup. It's cleaning house. It's, it's helping you detox. And then in that morning, you're flushing out those toxins with the lemon water. And then that, that detox with your liver, it keeps going until you introduce any type of fat. So that's why we're keeping it clean as much as possible. And then we usually don't introduce fats until dinner time. Okay, it's lunchtime now and came in from the field and <laughs> this is what Ashley had going on. Yes, I am making our lunch salads, which is what we've been eating every day for a very long time. And uh, what it consists of is we've got a mix of lettuce going on. Uh, we have a ton of lettuce growing right now, so we have quite the mix. Uh, luckily we had a few bags left from the farmers market so I was able just to use those and it was ready for me to just mix on up but we've got a mix of uh, butter lettuces romaine lettuce we've got some watercress and mache in here which are really great and uh, we've got tot soy um, any kale in there what else oh yes and kale I've got some baby kale in there and sometimes we have, what's the other one that we'll have sometimes? Um, arugula? Oh, arugula. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a little arugula in there too. And then we're having turnips. So I did take the tops from the turnips and put them in here so they wouldn't go to waste. Um, so that's the base. And then the dressing that I will do, it's a fat-free dressing and it consists of um, the juice. So for our whole salads, I fit that in a big bowl. That was the juice of one lemon. Um, maple syrup really is kind of to taste. If you like it more sweet, you can put more maple syrup, but I just kind of like drizzle it on, mix it up, drizzle a little bit more on, and then I'll use some garlic powder to taste as well. Um, and then sometimes I'll mix it up and add in other herbs. So today I did a little bit of onion powder too. Yeah, sometimes we'll have like Greek flavoring, Italian flavoring. Right. So I might add some oregano or some thyme. Um, today I'm going to add it on some fresh sage because we have sage in the garden. So I'll put that on top. Um, so yeah, so that's the dressing. That's a, a really great dressing. It's fat free because you don't have any oil in it um, or any like blended nuts or anything. Um, so then for the toppings today, pretty typical what we've been kind of doing lately. We have a lot of turnips in the garden. So I chopped up some turnips. Those are really good if you haven't tried them. They're kind of new to us in the last year. Uh, but they have, they're more of like just a mild sweet flavor. And then we're going to do cucumber. I chopped up some bell pepper and then tomatoes. Now normally we put a lot more tomatoes than what I have here on the board, but we've ran low and I'm going to get some more at the market tomorrow because ours have not come in yet in our garden. Um, but we love to put a lot of that on there. And then the other thing I'll add is raw garlic. We do a little bit of raw garlic on our salad um, just because we, we have been trying to bring in raw garlic each and every day. It's really great for your immune system. It's just as strong as an antibiotic. So we kind of bring it in almost like a supplement. Chop it up, put it on our salad. You could even chop it up and put it on your dinner. Um, and I think that does it for all the toppings today. So as you can see, this is a completely fat-free salad, but will be super 
filling once I get all these toppings on here. You can add as much as you need to make yourself feel full. And as we talked about earlier, we like to keep that detox going. So that's why we haven't introduced any fats into our lunch because we want to keep the detox going for most of the day. And after our salad, we also like to munch on some fruit and in order for our bodies to take advantage of the nutrients in that fruit, there needs to be no fats in our system. So we like to really let our bodies absorb as much nutrients as possible throughout the day and then we let ourselves have a little bit of fat later in the evening with our dinner. So as you can see, still no fats. You know, we're keeping the detox going and remember, even if we were to throw in some plant, plant fats here, those will remain in our system for at least an hour to three hours. So uh, another reason why you don't eat fats at lunchtime. We want to be able to benefit from all that fruit that we're going to be eating right after this. Right, Ashley? Yes, but if, you, if it's too hard for you and you feel like you need some fats, that's okay. Put some avocado on there. Um, you know, that's going to be the best fat for you. And like Ben said, it's going to be out of your system in just a few hours, opposed to if you throw some chicken or some meat on there, that's going to take a lot longer. And the avocado is going to offer tons of great nutrients for you. Yep. Meat, three to six hours. Pork, 12 to 16 hours to leave the bloodstream. So. We want to avoid any sort of meat products at lunch because those meat products prevent the body from bringing in more fruit throughout the day. Yeah. We need to get that glucose to the liver. So. Yes. And I do want to add that sometimes we want our avocado on our salad, so every so often we'll, we will do that, but most of the time we're kind of trying to just keep that detox going throughout the day. Trust us, we love avocado. Most of the time we're eating it at dinner. Yeah. Okay, so I made our second celery juice of the day and just bring, coming to bring it to Ben in the greenhouse. Got the celery juice. Okay. Let me just maneuver myself here. Sorry, I don't have much of an <laughs> arm. <laughs> so we've got 16 ounces tonight. Sometimes we drink more than 16. Anywhere from 16 to 32 just depends on, for example, how much celery we have left. And just I had to make sure we had enough for the morning. This is like... The ultimate weapon against fatigue. I felt like when I was really sick, drinking the double celery juice got me by in the evening time. You know, I'd have all this energy in the morning, but then come like five, six o'clock, I was like ready for bed. So this is like a shot of, a, of energy, good energy. And so yeah, we've been doing this for what, about a year now? Almost, yeah, about a year, last July. Yeah, so I mean, this is a game changer. If you're chronically ill and you have some of the symptoms I had, you need to drink the celery juice twice a day and you'll notice a huge difference. Yeah, you can also bring in, if you want to do something different, you could do cucumber juice as your second juice of the day because that's also very, very powerful and a great medicine tool to bring in. But celery's number one. Yes. <laughs>
right, so it's dinner time and what we are having tonight it still has a little bit of leftovers and then a little bit of extra. The extra is potatoes and onions. We cooked those up tonight and then we had some leftover turnip taco mix. So it was like turnips, onions, turnip tops, um, and like a taco seasoning. So put that on top of our potatoes. And then we also had some leftover lentils that I put on top as well. And then a little bit of our cashew sour cream. So the cashew is the only fat, right? The cashew and then there's oil that was used, avocado oil, to cook the veggies. And then lentils have a, some fat as well. So that is our dinner tonight. And can't wait to eat it. So? Thanks for joining you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell to get notified every time we post a new video. And drop us some comments. We love hearing from you guys. If you're giving the day in the life of Ashley and Ben a try and you're gonna start eating like us, tell us about it. Tell us how it's going for you. Yeah, and check out our Instagram, that.root.life, because that's where we share a lot of great recipes. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.